Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about the postgraduate conversion courses in the UK. So if you're someone who is thinking of switching careers but don't know where to begin, then you have come to the right place. Before I begin, I would really appreciate it if you can subscribe to my channel as I make a lot of informative videos for university students and study abroad aspirants. Your support will be greatly appreciated. First things first, what are the conversion courses? So conversion courses are a great opportunity for people to switch careers and people who do not have any relevant background or prior background. For example, suppose you did your bachelor's in computer science, but now you want to switch to psychology, then a conversion course is going to act like a bridging course for you. And after completing the conversion course, you're going to have all the relevant experience and knowledge uh, in psychology. It is not just psychology, but you can do conversion courses in law, management, business, journalism and so much more. Typically, you get a MSc degree, but in some cases, it is MA or even graduate diploma. Admission requirements in the conversion programs are not very strict. Uh, to be fair, conversion programs are meant for such people only. Uh, it is not required that you should have studied any relevant modules in your bachelor's degree. You should, however, have good marks in your bachelor's degree. But a lot of students or people who apply to these conversion courses typically have good marks. So what is going to separate you from the rest of the applicants? Here comes the most important component of your application and that's a personal statement. Personal statement is your chance to stand out. Usually you must answer these questions in your personal statement. What made you study the subject that you're not interested in? Why do you think this conversion degree is right for you? And finally, what is it that you want to achieve professionally with this degree? If you want me to make a dedicated video on how to write an excellent personal statement, then definitely low and let me know in the comment section down below. Also, along with your personal statement, you are also required to submit your recommendation letters and your transcripts. And if you are an international student, then you also, and English is not your first language or the official language, then you also have to submit your English proficiency exam scores such as IELTS or TOEFL. Now that you know about the conversion courses, let's talk about the structure of these programs. Just like any other postgraduate degree in the UK, conversion programs are typically of one year if you're pursuing them full time. In case of part time, it can be between two to three years, depending upon the course and the university. It is very, very important to know that these conversion programs can be quite intense. That is because you are required to study three years of undergrad material in just one year. I will talk about this very important point in a few minutes. But first, let me tell you about the curriculum as well as various modules that you study in a conversion degree and I will explain this using an example of a psychology conversion course. If you go for a psychology conversion program then you typically study or you typically have different modules such as cognitive psychology, developmental psychology, social psychology, biological psychology, research methodology and statistics. Uh, in some universities, they just have dissertation or thesis in the final year, but some universities also have compulsory placement along with the thesis or dissertation. What happens in compulsory placements is that you usually work as an intern in the NHS or the mental or any other mental health charity in the UK. It's a very great opportunity for people to gather relevant clinical experience, incredibly helpful for people who want to work in clinical settings or who want to work as clinicians in the field of psychology. And after completing all this coursework, you get all the basic knowledge and all the basic experience in the field of psychology. Talking about the assessments, uh, it can be either in form of critical essays or exams or it can be a combination of both. Psychology conversion degrees in the UK are accredited by the British Psychological Society and you become eligible for a graduate basis for chartered membership of the British Psychological Society. I hope the structure of a conversion degree is clear to you. So let's jump back to my previous point, which is conversion courses can be very intense. It is only natural because you are required to study three years of undergrad material in just one year. I know it is a lot to cover in just two semesters. So the question comes, how do you manage your studies well so that your social life and your personal life is not affected? My best advice is that give yourself some space from constant studying and prioritize your mental well-being. This is very important because you don't want uh, any kind of mental saturation, especially when you might be dealing with other issues already, such as homesickness as an international student. Have a set time for your studies. 
What I mean is that don't study every waking hour. Make some time each day for the things that you enjoy. It can be anything. It can be meeting with friends, going for shopping, exercising, photography. Trust me, it can be anything. The world is your oyster. What I really like about Edinburgh and Europe in general is the concept of local cafes and local bakeries. Uh, so you can always go to these cafes and bakeries and you can do your studies there, you can do your work. It's a great opportunity for you to change your environment and stay productive. If you are worried about the background noises in these cafes, then you can always plug in your headphones and listen to some white noise. Uh, Tide is a great app. It's a free app that will serve this purpose very well. Other than this, having the right study techniques is going to be incredibly helpful, so do not underestimate that. You can check out my video on master's degree experience in the UK, it should be around here somewhere. In that video, I describe the importance of having good study techniques in postgraduate degrees. And as usual, if you want me to make a whole video on good study techniques that are backed by science, then as usual, let me know in the comment section down below. Coming on to the million dollar question, what are the job prospects after completing a conversion degree? It is very very important to remember that conversion courses are not specialized courses or degrees but they are bridging courses. You do get a postgraduate degree after completing a conversion course such as MSc or MA but the curriculum is being designed to give you the basic knowledge and training of an undergrad level. If I tell you about the conversion courses in psychology in the UK, then students generally go for entry level jobs such as support workers or healthcare workers in the NHS or in mental health charities. Some students do volunteering as well. If you want to know in detail what is a support worker, what is it that you do as a support worker, then you should definitely check out my video somewhere here. It's an interview that I did with my friend who had worked as a support worker in the UK. If you're someone who is more interested in research and want to work as a research assistant, whether in academia or industry, then I must tell you that those jobs can be very hard to crack. Market can be very saturated and uh, you will have to be very, very persistent and hopeful and hardworking when it comes to research jobs. My best advice is to apply to as many jobs as possible so that something eventually works out for you. Keep an eye out not just for the job openings in your universities as, as research assistants but in other universities as well all over the UK. UKjobs.ac.uk is a great website for research assistantship positions across all universities in the UK so definitely check that out on a regular basis. Okay guys, that is all for today. I really really hope that you enjoyed this video, you found this video helpful. To summarize, I talked about what are the conversion courses, what's the structure of conversion courses, what are the admission requirements, what's the curriculum like in conversion courses and what are the job prospects after you complete a conversion degree. Don't forget to hit the like button and definitely subscribe to my channel. If you don't want to miss on any of my future videos, then hit the bell icon. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. Take care and stay happy.